What's up guys? Today I'm going to share with you guys what my morning routine is. I have to make my voice a little raspy so this could be a little bit more male here. I want to share with you guys what my daily morning routine is because you guys have been asking what kind of products I've been using that I use every morning and I figured that this is just going to be a really organic way to showcase it, me actually doing it without setting things up. So I'm going to just take you through my morning routine, all the products that I use, exactly what they are. I just showered. so. It's a little steam in here. It's a little hot, so I'm gonna try to get this over with. But the first thing that I use, guys, is this amazing product called Kiehl's. Let's see if this focuses. Kiehl's uh, Eye Fuel. This product I've been using for such a long time. I will buy this on my own. I don't get this for free because it's worth it. And for my eyes, I don't have like tremendous under eyes unless I'm like out partying or back in the day when I used to party a lot. Um, you know, I used to wake up with bags under my eyes, but now not so much unless my son doesn't sleep at nighttime and I really need to use some eye fuel. But uh, for the most part, you know, I use this on a daily basis, even if I feel like I don't need it, but it's just a habit. And for me, like once I start using a product that works, I just use it every day, even if it's a little bit. So this Kiehl's eye fuel works amazing. Uh, I did actually give it to my friend one time. We were in Cancun, we were partying, and then the next morning he used it. He's like, dude, this works. So I know it's not just for me. Um, you can find this at kills.com. It's probably like 20 bucks. It lasts such a long time. This is the first thing I use every morning is this Kiel I Fuel. Kiel's I Fuel. Because, yeah, like I said, it works amazing. It's $20. And I have used other products from different brands. And I have very sensitive skin, so it feels like... Sometimes it just burns underneath my eye, my eyes, and right here in this little pocket. So sometimes I get like a red sensation or irritation, and for me it just like defeats the purpose of trying to like conceal your under eye bags uh, if it's just going to be red. So yeah, I use Kiehl's. It works amazing, and it's one of my favorites. Uh, the next step that I do is I use this other product, Kiehl's, right here. This Kiehl's product. I'm not. 100% sure, let me see right here, if they are still making this product, to be honest with you. Uh, I think they are, actually, I actually think they are. Um, but this product right here has probably been the most beneficial for my skin because um, it does have Manuka honey. It's a skin, it's pure vitality, skin renewing cream. Um, it does have Manuka honey, it's infused with Manuka honey. I did a Manuka honey treatment one time when my skin was very dry and it seemed like, yeah, it wasn't hydrated enough. And I used this product uh, day and night and it completely changed the game uh, when it came to like the texture on my skin and the way it felt, uh, how like clean my face looked. Not that it looks like perfect right now, I still have a little bit of I don't know the dryness maybe, but I, th I think for me I have freckles, so I don't know what if it's like scars or freckles. I never really had bad acne, but you know, if you have freckles, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I'm like really trying to preserve this right here as much as possible because this one is a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, I think, I want to say this thing probably costs around 50 to $60 to be honest with you. I've had this product for like I want to say about, honestly, like about a year. Um, so it does last a long time. There was a little um, cap that came on this right here. Like you squeeze a lot of new Kiehl's products have that now where it's kind of like you just squeeze it like this and it comes out. And I, I was done with it. I thought like, you know, four months in, I was like, holy crap, I'm done with this because I use it daily. Um, and I ripped it off. I took it apart and it was like, it was just completely fit full still. It just didn't, that little pouch, I don't know Kiehl's why you do that, but it definitely, like I could have lost so much money just because I would have thrown it away prematurely. So make sure that you open up your Kiehl's product if it has, if it doesn't look like this, open it up guys, any Kiehl's product. Um, yeah, I don't know why I do that, but I took that thing apart, I ripped it, and it kind of came out like this. And look how much is in there. Like I would have thrown away all of this, like this little line, there's like a little line right here. I would have thrown away that from here. So that's like another six months to a year worth of product. I don't really use a lot. It's like, as you can see, I just really 
used, um, I don't know the dime size amount. I don't, I don't know what a dime size is. You guys are gonna figure it out. Like you'll know if you put too much on your skin. Another thing that I have been using, I, I'm not gonna really mix it, but it's this uh, Eucerin um, Sun Protector uh, cream as well. This one works really good because it has SPF 30 built into it and it works really good. Like I said, I have really sensitive skin, so I don't necessarily mess with other products that kind of mess with my skin. I, I kind of stay with one product if it works and my skin gets used to it. Otherwise, you have to cycle out. So with this one I use when I go to the beach or I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time in the sun, I just switch this product and I use the Manuka Honey because the Manuka Honey one kind of does make your skin a little shiny um, and you might not like that effect. Sorry, that it has because it kind of looks like you're just like sweating in a sense. Um, the next thing, always my eye drops. These things I swear by, Nefcon, if you could please. I don't even think I need some right now, but Nefcon, if you're listening, please let's work together because I have to use eye drops every day because my eyes are very sensitive as well. I don't know how I became such a sensitive dude, but seriously, like the computer, just working in front of the computer every day, I think that just messes it up. So next is my hair. Right now, as you can see, my hair is a little bit longer. Um, I don't know if you can see the sides, but I've kept it longer for a reason. I just like the versatility of it. I do like the fact that um, it's just easier to manage. I don't have to get haircuts all the time and I could enjoy the process of it growing out. So I feel like for me, I'm also like, you know, not, I don't dress as edgy as I used to. So it's a little bit easier just to like rock with different clothing that I'm wearing. Um, so if I'm going to wear like a suit or whatever, I could just, you know, clean it up just a little bit. It is, lo it is longer so I could slick it back or to the side or, you know, put some, throw some pomade in there or, you know, whatever it is. I could, it, you could go from conservative to a little bit more like high volume, more modern hairstyle. Uh, like right now, it looks like nothing because I don't have hair product in, but, you know, I just like the versatility of it. Uh, I like the fullness. I don't enjoy the, um, the short, short hair anymore just because I don't necessarily like, I don't know. I just, I just feel like I like rocking a longer look. Um, but let's put some hair product in. That's the next step of my grooming routine or morning routine. And for my hairstyle, like I am traveling right now through Mexico. So it's super humid out here. And I guess if you guys live in a humid part of the world, um, you guys would know that like hair product really doesn't withstand humidity, especially depending on your hair type. Um, so for me, it's like, I always end up looking like I don't have product in my hair, which is a good and a bad thing um, because I don't have to really worry about making sure it looks nice. It just kind of just does its own thing. Um, and depending on like the amount of humidity outside, like it could get either more curly or it could just drop because it gets so heavy because of the moisture in the hair and it just feels like I have very dirty hair, even though it's clean, or um, it just stays the same, you know? So, uh, let's see, this is, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair today. Like I said, I, if I once I step outside, it's gonna completely change, like it doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, but my hair is pretty, pretty long right now. Um, let me see, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but, but I do just like the fullness of it. So I think I'll just rock it like this. It's just very conservative. Uh, anything goes hairstyle because it's easy. And I dig it. So yeah, I don't know. This is how I'm rocking my hair. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, I just like the fact that I could just like, if the wind hits it, whatever, it, it just kind of gives it a vibe. Uh, longer hair is better for like beachy hair vibes. So I think also that's the reason. So it's not like I have to continuously keep messing with it to make it look good. So I think I'll just go for like this and just like let it ride naturally, dude, honestly. Like, I'm not gonna try to manipulate it too much just because like I said, when I go outside, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, that's the hair product. I'm using uh, Chapter Hair Styling Cream. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, my hair looks, it looks, it's too long right now. I need to go get it trimmed. The top is way too heavy. 
what do you guys think? Like, should I go trim it? Let me know down below if I should trim it or if I should leave like this. It's kind of full right now. Um, but yeah, the next step is I usually have my shirt on, but let's go ahead and just use, apply some lotion. I use this um, Aveeno uh, lotion right here, Daily Moisturizer. This thing works pretty good. If you guys didn't see it, you guys could Google it, but just let me apply some lotion very non-sensually. Just slap it on me, you know? Like, I don't want you guys to be like, why am I watching this dude put lotion? I don't, also don't want to perform the act of putting lotion on for you guys very slowly. So there it is. Um, now, the next thing we're gonna use, the next thing we're gonna use, the next thing we're gonna do is apply some cologne. Now, this is a very special one for me because, check that out, wait. Just a bloke in the wild. Hashtag. So if you guys don't know, my hashtag for Instagram is just the bloke in the wild. Um, it's just something that I just use for my followers uh, to like check and keep up, with, keep up with my post. I've been doing it for a long time and I did a partnership with Montclair uh, recently and yeah, they sent this really cool LED bottle that you could uh, Customized, which is pretty sick, and yeah, it smells amazing. This is the Montclair Poor Home. I like to call it the Poor Homie, because you know Latino roots. Let's just douse this down. It smells so good. It smells very fresh. It's a perfect date scent. Um, just leave it on there. And I guess the next thing will be what I'm gonna wear for accessories, just to like do it. You know, just because you guys are probably interesting, interested, maybe, hopefully. Um, but here I have this sick necklace. Let's see if it focuses on this. Yes, yeah, Lucky You from Raptor Finn. Uh, Jordan, shouts out to Jordan O'Brien, my homeboy, one of my best friends, uh, launched this collection. Um, did a fantastic job, and this is one of his pieces right here. Lucky You. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's dope. I like it, it's easy to wear. Um, I like to wear this with a tank top. Uh, you could like tank top, maybe with a dress shirt. It depends on the style I'm going for. But today, if I'm throwing this on, I obviously have to go a little bit edgier. Um, so I'll just go ahead and probably throw a tank top on with maybe like a linen blanket or something. I don't know. I could do something like that later. But next thing is this little band right here, this copper band that I got in, I believe I got it in Thailand. Um, and for the watch, let's go ahead and rock. Let me, I'll go ahead and probably rock the uh, 16233 um, Datejust two-tone uh, Rolex. I think it's clean. Um, and I think for the style that I'm going to go for, it just works perfectly. Um, Yeah, so I'll rock this today, and then, yeah, my outfit that I, I will go put on by myself uh, because I don't have anything to wear on. Honestly, guys, I, I feel a little obligated to just do a full get ready with me because it feels kind of weird leaving it there. Like, this dude just got ready. He didn't have any clothes on, and then he's just left us with that. Like, <laughs> it don't sit right with me, so I'm going to go ahead. Let's, let's go ahead and, and, and let's take you to the, through the full routine, guys. Honestly, I felt bad. Sorry. All right, so first thing we're going to do is get an outfit ready because that's what you have to do. So let me put this tripod to a higher position because, um, you know, I don't want you guys to, like, feel weird just, like, watching me get dressed. All right, no, no deal. Let me straighten out this camera. Straighten it out, straighten it out, straighten it out. How's that? All right, all right, all right. Shit, this thing's scary. Okay. Whew, all right guys, cool. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dress in all black because I feel like um, that's just the right thing to do right now. It is hot out and I just feel like it's just an easy look to pull off so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on this tank right here that I got from sorry man I'm just, I'm just 
This tank right here is just a tank top from H&M. It's literally sleeveless. You can find any tank sleeveless that you want from any of your favorite retailers, um, H&M. And also, I have these trousers right here from H&M that are pretty easy. They are like a broad cloth. Uh, it has a single pleat on it, which is pretty cool. Um, but I should iron these. I should definitely iron these. Yeah, I should definitely iron these. You know what? I'm not gonna iron them. I'm not gonna iron them. Let me put this light. This I need a little more light. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw on these black linen trousers, these black linen pants that I have from um, from H&M as well. Uh, it's just easier, and they're already they're already ironed. They're not wrinkled like those. And I just feel like those, honestly, I think they might fit me too big, so they just kind of fall. And I don't want to be sagging today. Um, so I'm just going to throw one of these instead. Let me turn this iron off. And also, it is, it is already hot out here in Mexico, so I don't want to put on some hot-ass pants right now. You know? Oh, and then I brought this hat just because um, it's a Marlboro racing hat. And I just feel like anytime I see a racing hat, I kind of have to put it on. Because, um... You know, it makes me feel like a race car driver. Um, and then next is going to be... Da, 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 da. Let's see if you guys could see me, I guess. Dude. Um, next is going to be a top. Uh, actually a blazer because it is hot out here. So I do like to wear just an easy blazer. Or maybe I could even rock a shirt. Um, I think what I will do is... Yeah, look, 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 look. Look, let's do this. See this right here? This is from, yeah, Percival, Percival. I'm gonna go ahead and rock the Percival shirt. Just because I feel like this is gonna give me a little bit more of the style that I'm looking for, especially rocking the, the chain, racker fin, the hat, Amazon and Percival, which is from England. If honestly, Percival, if you guys like us, just you guys should go tell them. Like, man, work with by Carlos Alberto. I've had at least five viral videos that went crazy with Percival, and I feel like they still don't care. And I'm like, you go, like, I, I'm like, guys, come on, like, I've been tagging you guys, I've probably tagged them over 150 times, like. Just, I don't know, like every video that goes viral, every question is like, where'd you get the top? Where'd you get the top? And I tag them and I tag them like, because I, it's, you know, I want to tell you guys where I got my stuff from. I'm not going to keep it from you guys. But I also feel like there's a level that you got, that Percival should be like, yo, this dude is getting a lot of views, you know, finally. And maybe we should send him some product, you know, but Priscilla was like, nah, bro, we have bigger fish to fry, I guess. So now... What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys exactly what the outfit looks like. And I'll just do this here. Let me throw on some shoes too because you guys obviously need to see the shoes. Um, yeah, let me get the shoes. Let uh, let's go get the shoes. But yeah, so, you know, if you guys want this, this shirt or if you guys want me to do more outfits with Percival, like, let me know, let them know. Be like, yo man, you guys should work with Carlos more often. La verdad es que sí, mucha gente está comprando esta ropa porque, bueno, yo le hice el plug y el video se fue viral. Y lo que pasa es, no tengo un, una manera de, de, de ver cuántas compras habían hecho porque no lo estoy como, no tengo el código o nada para hacer eso. Pero yo creo que sí me debe algo, pero sí, un poquito, aunque sea una, un poquito más de ropa para que pueda hacer más, para que pueda hacer más videos para ustedes. And, but anyways, guys, if you guys understand Spanish, then there you guys go. Uh, I'm going to be rocking these dirty shoes right here. These are from H&M as well. 
um, these I bought these canvas with a big chunky sole uh, that um, I, I saw at H&M I bought one pair I actually bought these online and I, they had these and the white ones and I was like yo I already know that I have socks on don't worry guys uh, no shows from chic I saw these online and I was like yo there's two different colors I was like, I should get both colors because I already know that these are gonna like make a statement, and they are dirty because I wear them a lot. But they were 30 bucks, and it doesn't hurt to like wear them every day, you know, because you're just like, it's all good. So, let's see. Sorry, guys, I, I might I have a pool there, right there. So I have beat towels on my on my couch because yesterday I was too lazy to put them somewhere. So. Um, let's see if you can see this. Here is, I guess this way. Can you guys see the outfit? I don't know how, this, this is when I wish I was short. If I was short, I could stand right here. I won't worry about it. But now, I'm gonna be six feet tall. So here's the outfit. Can you guys see that? Let me see. Let me see what I can do for you guys. All right. Here's the outfit. Shoes. The linen uh, drawstring pants. H&M tank top. Percival shirt. Polo, button polo, the button falling off. Uh, the watch and the hat and also Let's do this. These right here are my new Christopher uh, Kloos sunglasses that I absolutely love. And I think that a lot of you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see that I wear a lot of the TBD well with the orange lens, which are fire. But they just sent me these, and I think it's just right to like rock them. So here are the Christopher Kloos glasses. And this is it, guys. This is what I'm rocking. I think it's gonna be an easy look. I think it's easy to, you know, wear. It's hot outside. Um, and wait, how do I even use this? I don't even know how to use this tripod right now. It's easy to wear. It's easy to rock. These are super dope. Uh, this is, and so, yeah, this outfit's super easy. It's breathable. Uh, I could sweat. I'll dry quick. It is hot outside, so. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit, guys. Yeah, I felt a little weird. Um, I forgot my ring. Yeah, I'll show you guys the ring later. But I felt like I just owed you guys a full, complete look because I, I was like thinking about the video and how it ended. And I was like, yo, it feels kind of weird. Not you guys here. I feel like keeping you guys here. I feel like I was like, I can't end this video just like that because it's just kind of weird to have a guy that just got dressed or is undressed and left us without getting dressed. You know, it is a, it's not complete and I had to take you guys to full completion so that you guys could see the end result. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is my life. I'm waiting for my son to get up from his nap and then we're gonna go off on our day and hang out. But this is how I'm dressing. This is what I'm wearing. Um, this thing's cool. I like it. And yeah, make sure if you guys go check out Pursue. Just let them know and just say, just tag by Carl Roberto on their Instagram. Maybe they'll give us a discount code. That's the thing. At the end of the day, like I just feel bad for people who are interested on in getting this because usually as an influencer, or content creator, or whatever, they give you a code so you get like 10% off your free shipping or whatever. And it is expensive, and I'm just like, if I had a discount code, that'd be that would be really nice for you guys. So hopefully they'll do it. If you guys want to go tag them, just tell them by Carl Roberto discount code or something. And just go check it out and then also make sure you guys go check out racker finn my boy jordan dropped this little gem this is cool he's doing such a good job at at his uh, new brand so congratulations to him if you guys aren't haven't kept up with him for a while whatever you guys probably have just go check him out racker finn jordan this is it guys this is my get ready with me so i, I don't owe you guys another video this is it so if you guys want me to do more just let me know as I mentioned previously, by Carlos Roberto, twice the mood, 
Snapchat, Snapchat, sorry. Um, what the fuck's the one? Uh, TikTok, TikTok, go check it out. Um, yeah, TikTok is actually pretty funny. You're gonna probably go on there and be like, what the, what the fuck is this guy doing on here? What, what's he doing on here? And it's pretty funny. And yeah, so go check it out. I appreciate you guys very much. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to push down everything. Peace.